Hello, this is Julie. This week, during the webinar after the recording stopped, somebody asked a question about how to round corners of a square using Make the Cut. Brian had a real good idea of how to do that, so I thought I would just show you what he covered after the recording stopped. So I've made a few corners here and I'll show you how I did that. Each corner was just resized to a different size, but the technique is very simple. Go up to the top of the screen to click on basic shapes and type in there CI to get a circle and then type in SQ to get a square, double click on each to add to your screen. Now if you select both of these in type S, they will be stacked. And I've got my snap position on at 1 8 of an inch. I'll just kind of snap it to one of these squares on the grid. Now if you I'll use this circle and I'm going to click on the if you click on this figure 8 in the upper left corner you get the node editing toolbar. If I click on the second arrow or the node editing tool and I just delete I'll click on part of the circle and hit delete key to get rid of all but one little corner of that circle then I can click on the pen tool, left click on that dot, left click on the corner, and then right click on the other dot, and guess what I have? I have a corner rounder. This corner is a half inch round, but it can be resized to be all different sizes. For example, I can make seven or eight duplicates, go to edit, duplicate, and let's say I want eight of these. And I'll just click apply. I can resize each one. If I want a one-eighth size corner rounder, I can just take this up to be one-eighth. Here's the one-quarter mark. One-eighth is right here. So maybe I'll make this one to be one quarter. I'll make it just so that it lines up with the one quarter mark. This one I can do to three eighths. This one I'll leave right here at a half inch. I can make this one five eighths. I'll make this one a little bigger. this one at three quarters and this one seven eighths and look at that if I if I select all these that are kind of close uh, hold down the control key and move this to the right I spread out a little bit I can even make one more control shift click and drag and make that a whole inch and now I've got corners that are all different sizes that I can use for different projects. So let me show you how I would round the corner corners of this square. I'll make this square a little bigger to give us more room. So let's suppose I want my corners to be 3 eighths of an inch. Well I can duplicate this, let's see edit, duplicate, and I'll just make four of these because I want to round all four corners and apply. Well, the first one's fine the way it is and I'll rotate the rest of them. Then I'll select two of those and rotate them 90 degrees and then select one of those and rotate it 90 degrees. So now I have four different corners, one for each and what I want to do 
lining this up to a grid is is take a corner and put one in each little corner of this. So you can, since I've got snapping on, it's pretty easy to get those lined up. I'm going to click on the square, send it to its own layer by clicking on the smaller of the two green plus icons, hide that square, and now I'm going to select all four corners and join them. Now I'll show that square again and since the corners are joined, that's one object, and I have a square that's two. When you have two objects, you can do Boolean join, which is Control U, or this icon that looks like the intersection of a square. And when you click on that and click on Apply, guess what you get? You get a rounded square. And you can use any of these pieces here to do the same thing used up my piece so I would like to make another one control shift click and I can just make that size there now then um, Susan gave us a great idea and that is to put your corners in your shapes if you if you go up to this basic shapes icon and you click on your shapes, you can save these corners right here into basic shapes. So all we do is select a corner, click on File, Export, and Export Selection to Basic Shapes, or Control-Shift-L. When you do that, you can name it. Well, this is corner C R N. R, I'll just call it corner rounder R N D R one eighth, and it's now in basic shapes. I can do this one. This one is a one quarter inch. So again, file export selection of basic shapes. If you notice, Control Shift L, we could save some time there. Um, corner rounder one fourth add now I'll do the next one control shift L name it this one is through three eighths corner rounder three eighths enter or add you get the idea this one, Control Shift L, C R N R R N D R. This is one half. Enter, and let's go look at basic shapes and see what we have now. Click basic shapes. There's my shapes, and everything shows up alphabetically. And guess what? There they are quarter rounder, half inch, fourth inch, eighth inch, three eighths inch. So now if I need a quarter rounder, I can click on the size that I want. Maybe I want the fourth inch one. Double click it and it should be added to the screen. We'll try that again. I didn't click very well. Double click. There it is. So, I can use that if I want to just do it on one corner I can, or if I want to do it on many I can. It would help to have a square. SQ, and we'll get all categories. Double click. There's my square. And I can take that. And since I need four of them, if you only needed two of them, you could make two of them. I've got four of them, and again, I'm going to rotate these 90 degrees with the Rotate 90 Degrees tool. And with snapping on, I can snap these right into the corner perfectly. Lining them up. 
I'll move this out of the way for a second, join these, and then move this right back to the slot. I have two pieces and I can use Boolean join, apply, and there's my perfectly rounded square. So I hope this is helpful. You know, if you um, have a cutter like I do, have several cutters that don't have plugins for Make the Cut, all I need to do is export these corners. I could just export one of them and resize it in my other software and I will have a corner rounder in other software to use. I can export as SVG. Let's say I want to have a quarter inch quarter rounder. I can go to File export selection to SVG and I'll just call this corner rounder and save it and now I have an SVG file that I can use in, in Cricut Design Space or Puzzles in View or in Shortcuts a lot or with any other software that uses SVG files. So this can be helpful for many other projects. I hope you will give it a try. Talk to you later. Bye.